Many of the similarities between the victims are already well established. With a few exceptions, they are about the same age, they are black, relatively short and slight in build, and all come from similar backgrounds. Now the prosecution must link the victims with Williams and develop patterns in his behavior that will convince the jury he is a killer. One link is the Omni International Complex. At least five of the victims, Jojo Bell, Luby Jeter, Patrick Baltazar, Charles Stevens, and Jimmy Ray Payne, were known to have spent a great deal of time at the Omni, and testimony during the trial has also placed Wayne Williams there from time to time. Kent Heinzman, who was on the stand today, said Williams frequently went to the Omni to pass out flyers for his music production business, and in an interview last summer, he told Ernie B. Yorkman Williams was well known among the youngsters there. I went to the Omni with Wayne, um, seemingly though as most of the kids that knew Wayne, uh, they all come up to him asking when they were going to uh, do maybe do some recording or things of that nature. Um, I asked Wayne how did he know so many kids, he said they were his spies, they told him everything he wanted to know about everybody. The prosecution hopes to use Williams use the Omni as a pickup point for his victims. Another pattern is the dumping of bodies. As each name is mentioned in court, a pen is placed on a map showing where each body was found. Only a person thoroughly familiar with the area would know the major highways, the secluded back roads, strategic places to dispose of bodies, and the prosecution has pointed out Wayne Williams has that knowledge. Another apparent link is homosexuality. For the last two days, the prosecution has questioned witnesses about homosexual overtures by Williams, suggesting that sex could be both a pattern and a motive in the killings. And finally, several witnesses have testified Williams asked them about their musical talents. They say he talked to them about possible auditions and said one of the victims, Jojo Bell, had even signed a contract with him. The prosecution seems to be trying to prove that Williams used his supposed show business connections to lure his victims. But perhaps the most compelling link of all is one the jury hasn't even heard yet. Prosecutors will try to prove once again that matching fibers and animal hair were found on all 12 victims and that samples of blood stains taken from the back seat of Williams' car match the blood type of two of the victims who were stabbed to death, John Porter and William Barrett. That testimony should be coming up tomorrow. The prosecution is expected to rest its case on Friday. At the Fulton County Courthouse, B.B. Emmerman, Action News.